Episode 5, The Clicker. The Clicker! Night life in Bright Falls. Hey, it's the diner. Best cupcakes in the something. Oh dear diner. Previously on Alan Wake. Previously on Alan Wake. Under the influence of the dark presence, I Here wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. No. So part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My Hunter, mom Hunter. This old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault and you're gonna pay for it. It's your fault, and you're going to pay for it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Moose Some Fest? Some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. Wow, it's I'm very foreign, dude. And community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to... Oh, I'm in jail. Get through the night in one nice. Place, all right? Hey, at least I'm safe here. I have it. Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh. Always in the light. In the light. In the light. How was that crazy? Bimbo. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ew. Oh, oh that's right, the moonshine. Al, 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 this is not good. That about hmm. sums it up. Okay, over dramatic. Oh, I am never drinking again. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. Right They're not yeah, gonna... An wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Oh, uh, was it? Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. <laughs> here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. What? There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there? Red Easton Ellis. Ah, what the fuck is Agent Nightingale? I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my <sighs> look. That's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. I do too. <sighs> I'm having a vision. Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Hey, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Haha! <laughs> -ha. Oh my god! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Whoa. Follow me. Oh, man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. <gasps> Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. Uh -oh. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. How did he how did he have the future written down and still got fucked? You can't alter destiny. Unless you're Alan Wake. 
Alan Mother and Wake. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, the spaghetti is spicy. Ooh, delicious. Sure taking a while. Would you have to input the secret code? Here are your things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light, check. Cynthia, she lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Nice. Come on, let's get back to your friend. Oh shit, we left him behind? Why the hell didn't he come with us? Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No. We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Wow. Mm. Okay. Mm. Here's a list of people. Oh, yeah. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs. Okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list. Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As Look at this water bottle. Already. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. This thing is huge. My hangover wants a piece. You want to see my food? There's any way I could order one, Al? My hangover wants you to shut up and get to work. Uh, hello, Mr. Breaker. I got a lot of, this is Barry Wheeler. A lot of spaghetti. Yeah, I know it's late, but listen, the sheriff, Sarah, asked me to tell you something. She says night springs, okay? So I guess she... Yes, sir. Okay, I... Hmm. No, uh, she's okay. She's just busy, so she asked me to... Mm. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm a literary agent, sir. I'm just helping her out because she's busy right now. Oh, damn. I didn't even see the cop car flipped over. Another page from the manuscript? When Gail tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. It was a Catholic, but it all ran true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip glass when he used the... That was on the manuscript. That's wild. Hmm. Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Got it. Where, where, wait, where the hell? <laughs> the manuscript said it was true. So it must be true. Borpa spin was in the cannon. <clears throat> Deer fest. In the light. Wait, is that where I'm supposed to be going? Okay, climb. Bah, 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 bah. A sword? Yeah. Ginormous sword. Dumb birds. Hey, Sheriff, your password. 
Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this mm. weird, though. No, that, that back there is my dumbbell. That's all that is. We need to bypass the damaged control box. How the hell? Am I an electrician? Hold on. Yeah, how do I do that? Ow. That's smart. What does that mean? The keys to the chopper are there. I see them. Get ready, Wake. Nice. All right, we gotta move. Deer fest is tomorrow, damn it. Not the deer fest parade float. Everybody needs to back the hell away. For I am Alan Wake. I am Alan Wake. We won't talk about anything that happened just now. I'm gonna want explanations, you know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The hell's Rose? Barry was in his element, making calls, making things happen, even if he didn't entirely know what those things were. He wouldn't let the hot sheriff chick down. <laughs> Every noise he heard from outside, and he heard plenty, made him jump. He had only paused to text Al a message, told him to hurry up. Suddenly, Barry froze in mid-dial. A window broke somewhere in the building, and then the lights went out. <gasps> oh, no. My spaghetti's empty. I don't want to talk about nothing. <laughs> nothing happened. All the lights, all the doors are shut and Barry's about to die.
Quick attack? She signed the best for us. Noise. Come on, baby. Hey, open. Wow, way to throw in a joke about New York. In New York! Go out, go! Wait, over here. There's light. Where? Like fucking Mario. That's a relief. Look sharp, Wake. So far, Wahoo! So wake. <laughs> wake over here. There's light. I got, I got you, I got you. <laughs> it's an ambush. that charge there yep. I never seen that move that this turn into Resident Evil Yeah, baby. Don't mess with Alan. Wake and bake. Let's go, Wake. Hold on, I gotta get this thermos. Hmm. Was there not a faster way to get over here? Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. What? I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Damn. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. 
The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again. But meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. That's right. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He worried his Bing, bong, bang. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Ah, the helicopter okay, key. Sheriff, I got the keys. Here we go. Oh god, she got electrocuted. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Wake. He's okay. Barry. Barry. Front's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. Oh God! This whole town's about deer country. Damn you. Right there. Goddamn bikers. Don't like your kind around here, boy. We can make it through the bookstore. Hey, Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Get the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. Is that the oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah. About time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. You've got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. She got the keys to everything. <laughs> they're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. Oh my god. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, <laughs> always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls abandoned power plant. What? She marked her caches with light sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. Oh god, this is like the this plot of Kingdom Hearts. There's the door to darkness. Black lace, white lies.
I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. That's the way to the chopper. Who is breathing like that? The fuck? A thermos! Nice. Let's go. Why does Deer Fest 68th annual Deer Fest? Is there another thermos? Oh, there's another manuscript. <gasps> Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Falls General Store and dusted himself off. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case of <laughs> guns. And yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into the role. Oh, God. He has a fucking crowbar? Oh yeah, Deer Fest got me supplied. Let's go hunt me some beast. Concealed firearms are prohibited inside the church. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Let's take a break. Great. Where are you going? That's not what I wanted. Thank you, Sheriff. Damn, I wanted to save some uh, flashbangs. Okay, it's open. Let's go, Wake. Let's go. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deer Fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. Oh God. For it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript. True, uh huh? He pursued the writer indirectly, put others on the task, and stopped those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. Nice. We're almost there. We have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. 
The crypt? They have a crypt? It's like a wine cellar. Shit. I'm just the bait. That's it. Did you call oh! Barry! Saw the light, huh? Oh, God. You didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. <laughs> He's stupid. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. We're almost there, baby. Open the emergency cash. Man, my upper lip smells like spaghetti now. The Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want it. A flaming eye of Mordor. She had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. Last one. Bastard. What? at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license or cleared for departure to night springs bye cletus An asshole. Come on, Al. Come on, Al. Oh, I'm never gonna get used to this. Yeah, imagine the therapy you're gonna have to take now after this. Just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Of course. Take too long. I want to get out of here. Oh, well, this is perfect. Oh, we're set. This place is loaded.
What the fuck? Oh, there's a thermos. Fuck, am I fighting Magneto? I can't hear anything! What the fuck? Almost? Oh my god, I thought I saw a dragon. Goddamn bullets are in there. Wait, you better put an end to this. Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. Alan Wake. And the tale of the crazy goons. are used to rough situations like this. Right. The city's a war zone. King Kong, mutant alligators. Then Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tell some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no. Just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. Why is she yelling? Oh, that's right, the helicopter. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. Oh, God. How did they not hit a single one of those birds? Oh, I jinxed it. <laughs> he fell out of the. Son of a bitch. How? Only Alan Wake. Ah, sh okay. They're gonna have to wait a second. I gotta. Oh my god. How, how crazy is Alan Way gotta be to believe this woman? Oh damn, this thing is cold.
I didn't lose everything already. Are you kidding me? How do you lose a flashlight and a gun? was holding it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. They can't touch this. They Do I get a headlamp? It's just a bright ass. song from a band that they always remind me of our local rock legends the old gods i couldn't tell you why i guess it's just you know one of those ah. things. anyway here's poets of the fall in their latest single war war what the Achievement. God damn it, there was too many. I didn't even had to fight all of them. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. Woo! Nothing like a good old nuclear power plant. Oh, it's not nuclear. Never mind. Ah, hard hat area. Do I cook? Uh, I can cook. I haven't cooked in a while. Oh. God damn you. Can you cook? 
<laughs> what the fuck? It's been a while since I cooked anything. Like, personally. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. I know a big goal of mine this year is going to be learning some new recipes to make. Thank you. Foy gras? Foy gras? What the fuck? I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I gotta find what makes me hungry. I know there was that one time I was make- I made, um... I made the... Steak. Garn that... Oh shit. The steak, uh, chipotle. Oh, with the chipotle rice and shit. Woo, I made it myself. Maybe like maybe some buffalo mac. Making your way through the water pipe alone. Holy oh, shit, I can't even angry at the writer. Medium rare. This young man taking unnecessary risks and the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years and now only wanted to rest. Oh, I use, I use butter, a little bit of butter, uh, well not a little bit, I put a glob of butter, alright, I'll be honest, a glob of butter, and what oil did I use, olive oil, was it olive oil? I haven't made it in so fucking long. I don't think it is olive oil. I put the butter on last. Like, the butter doesn't go in the pan first. The butter comes after. Um... Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. What was it? It's in a big... Oh, shit. Fuck you. It comes in a big container. Oh, I see what I gotta do. <sighs> canola oil, I think is what it is. Is it canola? No, canola is used for frying food, I think. It's the most expensive food I've ever had. I don't think I've really had any fancy expensive food. I've never ate at like a fancy place before. I mean, I've had like God, the most expensive kind of food I've eaten has been, like, seafood, I think. But that's... That's about all I can think of. I've never had Wagyu. Oh, yeah, I had had lobster, and it sucks. Lobster tastes like shit. Oh, my God, I remember that. We went out to eat at, um, 
a red lobster before. And I never had lobster, and I've always heard... Oh my god. I've always heard about people loving lobster. So... So I've, I've tried it. I did not like it. It was not good. Even with butter and stuff, it just tasted plain. It was the same with uh, eating squid. I've had squid before. Ugh, worst, worst taste ever. I've eaten fancy sushi. Oh, bluefin tuna? Never mind, that's... Nah. Might as well just say my fucking tuna is, uh... Bought at the grocery store. I don't ever have bluefin. Sorry, I'm not too high class. I'm kind of like a... I'm kind of like a hobo that eats from the garbage. But definitely has the money to eat. A homeless man <laughs> I'm literally a homeless man without the homelessness part like I'll eat like whatever the story I had written in the cabin had come true Touched I'll by eat the dark garbage presence, I if I need to horror story but the end was still missing the story was incomplete and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study if I could get back there, if I could... I mean, I sat in my car my own and ate, like, a can of Spam for lunch before. With crackers. Just because. <laughs> Not even... It was more of a, hmm, I wonder what this tastes like kind of thing. I ate that for lunch. Oh, fuck. The simulation's broken. What's inside your car? A driving... A, a driving wheel. <laughs> a fucking driving wheel. <gasps> Wait. You know how to fry eggs? I don't prefer fried eggs. I prefer scrambled or dippy. But oh my god, I specialize in uh, breakfast. Mm. Making waffles, poached eggs, uh, pancakes, uh, French toast, omelets, hash browns. Uh, Scrapple, corned beef hash, like if I were to pick another profession in life, I think I would open up a bed and breakfast on the, on the beach. Oh shit, was I, oh, I was supposed to jump on that. God damn it. I would open up a bread and breakfast on the beach side and then just run well not even a bread and breakfast just a breakfast joint just like a place that just specializes in making breakfast and then that's it and then just be open from like 6 to 11 and then close for the day The morning, a name for the breakfast place. <laughs> Pickle Rick. No, just ew. Lemon and chips. That sounds horrible. I don't think I'd have it to do with anything in the 
with lemons. I think I would just call Oh, it could be uh Lemothy's Lemothy uh Lemothy something. Are we men dreaming of being butterflies or butterflies that dream of being men? Lemothy's Uh, Lemothy's Egg Shack. Tonight's episode, an absence of creativity. In San Francisco. That's not fucking support now, is it? God damn it. Yeah, I think that would be like a, an ideal job. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <gasps> Stay back. Just being on the beach side, waking up at like four or five to get everything ready. Open up at six, get the first people with just what just eating coffee or coming to drink coffee. I recognize the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh, you knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. Huh. Okay. It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What do you need to drive the darkness back? The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? No, I have a secret route. A lit route to the old water pipe. Nice. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's drained all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Well then. Interesting. Let me guess. You want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. I'll open the damn door. Did you hear about J and one COVID? What the hell's that? Is it something to give me another stimulus hey, check? The switch is on the wall facing the shore. The new strand, another strand. I cannot take you to the well-lit room if the lights in the pipe go out. 
You must go outside to use this lady's gonna yell at me. Switch. Hmm. Oh, it's been around since September. Let's see. <laughs> oh god. Everybody's worried about a triple demic. Lord have mercy. A triple demic. Never go out at night. Oh God. Okay. How I do I do this? The kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Oh my god, I gotta figure out how to do this. What the fuck was that? Done. Ta da! <laughs> Is this game not over yet? Not close. Yeah, it's, um, we're actually pretty close. You we're... just can't wait for me to die, can you? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you feel, huh? We're on the last chapter. Or no, second to last chapter. Whoa! Who designs these things? Oh shit! I tried to speed run. What's the next game? Alan Wake 2. Who designs these things? I want to. I'm doing all this so I could play the new one, so I can know what the new one's about. Apparently, it's really, really good, and it's nothing like this. Dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. Go play Resident Evil. I already did. We're waiting for them to remake another one. Because apparently, it, they're already in the works of remaking. I think five. Which, that is gotta- that- if they remake 5, that thing better be fucking fantastic. <laughs> oh! Oh! Damn it. The Transformer Yard went dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. I'd be down to... Well, no. I can't say I'd be down to play more. Oh, shit. Resident Evil. God damn it. What the f... The gameplay in this is just janky. The yard went dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. But I have a whole list. Of all the games that I want to play, uh, in order. Well, not in order, but, like, coming up. I wrote it down yesterday, I think. Or the day before, when I didn't stream. I really like to play Death Stranding too. That'd be fun. At least I think so. Alright. This 
way, young man. Follow me. Come, come, the pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. This way. We need to go. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I've had such a crush on him. <laughs> such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> what the fuck? And then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. Insurance. Insurance? Me. Or perhaps use me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. The fuck is it? Characters trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end of the dark isn't stopped she'll twist the story to her own dark ends how do you know all this tom yo what is she taking what is taking her so long this is gonna take hours from beyond from below we have both been touched by the darkness young man he saved us both with light but if the darkness stays with you you sustain This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! Her sweet little... Oh, damn. Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. And more people will die. Oh God. Oh, this guy's this guy is stupid. Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Oh, come on. <laughs> What was that? At least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. What was that? This idiot jumped off it and landed like an like a moron on the ground. Broke both of his fucking ankles. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. <gasps> and by some miracle, they both survived the crash, surrounded by darkness. Thank God for the light. Anarius and Lilith? Oh my God. I forgot you were a Diablo nerd. <laughs> and I'm just as bad because I know what that was referencing. Man, I wish four didn't. I need. You just reminded me I need to look at Tangier. 
and see if there's any new uh, things out. Thank you. Barry, Sheriff Breaker, Sarah. The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Blair, Blair. Yeah, that's what I mean. The gameplay is like. It's not like 3 was. 3 just kept me going. And going, and going, and going. If I never played 3 and I went straight into playing 4, I think I would have liked it. Really? I never played any of the other ones. Those are the only ones I played. I didn't play two or one. Somebody said I should try Path of Exile, but I'm like... Very... They just remade it? Did they? You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor? Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. Funny man. When did they? Oh. When did they remake, uh... Diablo 2, when was that? Not long before. Oh, you know what? I do remember that. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to change. That gym membership. You can't be a good mind. Nothing moves like that. It's impossible. What are they talking about? I stepped into the light. You're welcome. <laughs> this game is so fucking stupid. <laughs> Yo, people, for whatever reason, they love this fucking game. People love this game. I mean, I guess at the time it was. Definitely. Here we go. Oh, what the fuck? The hell, get the hell back. Now, why is this button. Why is this elevator so long? Oh, got chills. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at Diablo the 2 Resurrected. The plan, well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, 
Could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Paul Bunyan. He was real. Oh my god, look at these 2D slash 3D That's bullshit. Careful, okay? Holy shit, Diablo 2 looks crazy. Come on, why can't it be gra four graphics with two's gameplay? Why can't they just get it right? Okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Why don't you hold the button down for me so I can get in? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, good. You've got to be kidding me. Woo! I think what they need to do is bring back all of the original people that made Diablo 2. And then just give him the tool, the tools to to make the gameplay. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed, and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself, uh, his own okay, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Well, I'm really trying to hold off until, um, like playing games like that until this game, uh, what the hell is that game called? Blue Protocol comes out. I just don't know. I don't want to get a heavily addicted, but I think it might happen. I'm starting to wish I worked only four days a week. Why can't I work four days a week and still afford everything? Ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. What searchlight? This one? What? 
Yo, what the hell is happening? I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Oh, there we go. That's why I couldn't fucking fight everything. Enough. You will go no further. Can't tell me what to do. I'm Alan Wake. <gasps> stop! Stop now! You just literally opened up. The path I need. Save my wife. No, God damn it. I still need to play Mass Effect Andromeda. Ooh, a thermos. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bitch. And still not a single tear on my cardigan. You made it. Well done. I'm glad I was wrong. But it was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well-lit room for many, many years. There's no shadow in the well-lit room. The power is fail-safe. All the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Wow. Right. That's a weird habit. One of those people that go to the grocery store to, uh, like, just feel up the bread aisle and just, like, want to, like, squeeze it's every slice of bread. Misery. But then when they squeeze every slice of bread, they could tell you exactly the date and time that it was made. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. <laughs> Jesus. It also looks like she owns some... Some animals. <gasps> Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore because six and thirty three and one eighteen need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. Is that just a page of the manuscript? The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. What the fuck? One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. 
Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given what the clicker to the Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. <laughs> what? I can get to her now. I can finish this. So, okay, wait a minute. Okay, so... Alan... Alan Wake... wrote a book that was coming to life. And this darkness in the lake was taking over the story. But only because of Thomas Zane did this all come into existence. Because Thomas Zane wrote a book about Alan Wake writing a book. Yeah. Well then. That's... Previously on Alan Wake, I I had a hang. I'm skipping on. All right, it's the last uh the last chapter. The last chapter. All right, I guess I'll finish the last chapter tomorrow on Christmas Eve. I think that'll be a uh, great time. A great finish to the story. Fantastic even. To the to the glory days of Alan Wake. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a